In this article, we explore the best bars and restaurants featured in our favorite sitcoms. From a place of employment to a backdrop for iconic scenes, these locations are just as significant as the characters themselves. Central Perk, the iconic coffee shop from TV show Friends, still holds a special place in fans' hearts today. It served as the main hangout spot for the group and also employed Rachel and Joey. Its oversized mugs and orange couch still remain memorable to this day. In entertainment news, the iconic Boston bar scene in the hit classic show, Cheers, is a real place where locals can go to feel at home among friends. Everybody knows your name at Cheers, which is one of the city's hottest hangouts. Stay tuned to MSN for more exclusive entertainment content. Fraser Crane, the TV character, found a new home away from home in Cafe Nervosa in Seattle. This small, cozy cafe provided the perfect setting for engaging intellectual conversations and witty insults between Fraser, his brother Niles, and Father Martin on the show Fraser. Patty's Pub, the setting of a lesser-known sitcom, is said to have paved the way for the hugely popular It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Despite the former's characters venturing out more often than the latter's, both bars have achieved legendary status. For more entertainment exclusives, follow MSN. Welcome! Moe's Tavern, a famous TV bar, has made a mark with its eccentric visitors, including Al Gore, Joe Frazier, and Stephen Hawking. Although fictional, their presence has made the bar a pop culture icon. Check out our Woodstock playlist too. Leslie and friends love JJ's Diner for their waffles, hiring them to cater her wedding. They even banded together to save the diner in a memorable episode. Find more entertainment content on MSN. The Snake Hole Lounge in Pawnee, Indiana is famous for its appearance on Parks and Recreation. In the episode, The Fight, Tom introduces his new liquor, Snake Juice, causing conflicts between Ann and Leslie and leading to a memorable hangover scene. Check out the lounge and other true crime shows on our list. Tom Haverford, a character from Parks and Recreation, opens a new restaurant called Tom's Bistro after leaving his previous establishment. The Italian eatery attracts A-list customers like singer Genuine. Don't miss out on more entertainment news by following MSN. Dunder Mifflin employees celebrate at Poor Richard's on St. Patrick's Day after a long day at the office. The bar is a frequent hangout spot for the gang, according to regulars like Kevin and Meredith. Check out the 25 Greatest Revenge Movies, too. The cops from Brooklyn's 99th Precinct frequently visit Shaw's bar to celebrate solves or vent about being a detective in NYC. It's also where the Halloween heist winners are crowned and the squad competes with the fire department for exclusive rights to the bar. Stay tuned on MSN for more exclusive entertainment content. McLaren's Pub, the beloved bar from How I Met Your Mother, holds a special place in fans' hearts. Many scenes were shot at this spot, making it just as comforting as the show. Saying farewell to McLaren's was as heartbreaking as saying goodbye to the show's main characters. Krusty Burger, a beloved staple of the Simpsons universe, is getting some well-deserved recognition. As one of the show's most featured restaurants, Krusty Burger has become an iconic television eatery. With a Paris location and a steady stream of customers, it's no wonder Krusty the Clown is raking in the dough. Keep following for more entertainment news. Residents of The Loft on the TV show, New Girl, often frequent the Griffin Bar. Major plot points occur here, like Jess meeting Sam and when Winston and Coach help Cece. Nick and Schmidt own it, making it the show's seventh main character. Monk's Cafe, the iconic hangout spot from Seinfeld, may have been a set, but the exterior was filmed at Tom's Restaurant in NYC. You can still visit and have your own pointless conversations. Follow MSN for more entertainment news. Cafe Tropical is a standout location in Schitt's Creek, providing a unique respite for the roses. However, they're banned from patronizing it until they pay off their tab. Nemo's Pizza, made famous by Everybody Loves Raymond, has questionable health codes, 
but that doesn't stop us from wanting to dine there for the authentic Italian-American pizzeria experience and possible celebrity sightings. Check out MSN for more exclusive entertainment. Fans of AFC Richmond show their unwavering support at the crown and anchor on Ted Lasso. Despite consistent disappointment, the regulars demonstrate impressive team loyalty. Bob's Burgers ranks as the top choice for a fictional restaurant experience. With affordable prices, enjoyable atmosphere, and delightful staff, it's a must-visit. Sorry, Jimmy Pesto's didn't make the cut. Follow MSN for more entertainment news. Abbott Elementary's Bone Town is set to become a recurring joke and secondary location in the show, after a hilarious punchline. The Philadelphia teachers may even go on a date there, leaving fans excited for what's to come. Cooper's Bar from The King of Queens may have changed, but you can still visit its real-life counterpart, Yerman's Irish Pub in Queens. Allowing a TV series to use your location can be good for business, especially for a long-running show like this one. Follow MSN for more entertainment news.